let's talk about the proteins in food now. So if you're going to choose a food that was high in proteins, one of the things you might think of is eggs. So today, right now, I'd like to mention that eggs are a really good source of protein and they have all different kinds of amino acids in them. So let's think a little bit more about what happens to those amino acids. So if this is an egg protein, let's pretend I had egg for breakfast. I like mine scrambled. All right, so they're really scrambled now. But what, let's, look at, let's zoom into what's happening in the stomach after you've eaten them. So what's happening is that the amino acids that are in a chain get broken down into single amino acids. Okay, so I'm doing this. And now, since they're in the stomach in this area, they get picked up by the blood and they get taken everywhere in the body. So let's say that I actually was working out in the gym, which I sometimes do, and these muscle cells here now have, get these amino acids. Now the DNA inside these cells here give the cells the instructions to put together these amino acids in a different order from what the egg protein was. So they're actually making my proteins now. And so they put the amino acids together in a different order and therefore they make muscle proteins instead. So in thinking about it, what happens is what was in egg, I'm just going to review again. So what happens is the egg amino acids that are in a particular order here, after you eat them, they get separated and they get picked up in the blood, taken everywhere in your body, and your cells take them in and put the, them together in a different order to make your proteins. And that's one of the ways in which proteins are rebuilt for you.